if anybody needs to to go to a class at noon and needs to get out of here, I would go ahead now. Huh? I know. He wants to show it to his friend. Okay, so before every speech, I like to pray about what I'm going to do. And uh, this time I felt Jesus wanted me to talk about. <laughs> now, I came to this country 15 years ago, and uh, my parents got a job at McDonald's. <laughs> and since then, I've been eating there consecutively, well, not too much, but pretty much once a month, for like the past 15 years. And it's like my favorite fast food place. Now you have to know where I go to McDonald's. But you know what? You guys don't eat there for some reason. I don't know why. Apparently, our generation is not even in the top ten of, like, McDonald's isn't even in the top ten for us in terms of where we go to eat. So I thought, maybe I'll talk about this. So, originally I was going to talk about cheeseburgers and nuggets and stuff, but you guys know all about that. So, instead I'm going to try to go a little deeper, go into what you guys like in terms of, like, food. Fast food, and uh, how McDonald's has a uh, uh, trying to woo you guys in them coming and eating. So I'm going to talk about some changes they made, like they changed their menu to make it healthier, or environmental changes, or even um, maybe even a, a new menu item. So if you're like, listen, I'll tell you. Oh, and um, I use the New York Times, um, that one news magazine, whatever it's called. Business Week, Bloomberg Business Week, and McDonald's.com. So let's, let's, let's begin. Let's talk about that, that food. This is a McRap. Uh, there's the calorie info. You're going to see if it's healthy or not. It's supposed to be healthy. I hope you agree. I'm going to tell you what's in it and my own experience with it. So uh, as you can see, there's a tomato, chicken, cucumber. That's a new thing, by the way. McDonald's didn't have cucumbers before, but now they do. So th this was for you guys. They made this just for you. Just so you know, be grateful. And there's some lettuce. Now, I got one of these the other night after work, and it was amazing. But it was also the first time I tried ranch, so that might have something to do with it. But nonetheless, this is some good stuff. Um, you can see the. There's some good stuff here. Some of it not so good. There's a lot of sodium. Hope you guys don't mind. Really vitamins. So, all right, let's talk about economics and, I mean, environmentalism. So what they've done in terms of uh, environmentalism. Anybody know what that is? Have you ever seen one of those in real life? Exactly, no one's ever seen this. And that's good because 20 years ago, Donald got rid of this styrofoam container that used to hurt the environment so much, and they replaced it with paper. Think about that. A huge corporation like McDonald's that makes a billion burgers a second, <laughs> Literally, that's a lot. But that was 20 years ago. So um, let's talk about what they've been doing since then. Um, this is just recent. In September, they decided they're going to get rid of styrofoam for all the cups that they have. So that's like every single cup, like coffee or like soda or whatever, going to get rid of styrofoam. So once again, that's like a billion coffees a day. No more waste. Let's go talk about um, nutrition. Because I feel like this is really relevant in our day. We all want to eat healthy. We go to Chipotle or Subway. They're not the healthiest, but it's still like, we know what we want. So McDonald's, don't be sure. Their ears are open. I'm going to tell you something they did 10 years ago, uh, 2003, and something they're doing more recently, like within the past five years. So 10 years ago, they said they would get rid of trans fatty oils from, uh, from the fries. And you know what happened? They lied. They lied, you guys. They didn't get rid of trans fat at all. And that, that, was, that was a terrible decision. But you know what? They learned from it. In 2008, they actually promised it again, and they learned their lesson. And there's actually evidence now to prove that it's not as bad as it used to be. So, <laughs> don't, don't. But that's not all. See, they're also partnering with this county.
accounting firm, or no, professional services firm, one of the biggest in the world. And um, they made several promises. Like, for example, this is really good, by the way. <laughs> I'm really good at Max. I'm usually a cheeseburger person, but probably won't do that now. Anyway, so they made several promises. One of them was uh, that they would lower sodium content over their food by 2015, and this was in 2011. It's 2013 now. Their goal was 15% by 2015. Right now, all their menu, or like everything that's served in 90% of their stores, has 12% less sodium content. That's pretty good, because they got into every single item that most of us like have seen in the menu. But that's not all. They're also trying to get rid of other stuff, like sugars, and I think uh, saturated fats as well. Lower it down a bit. But that goal is for 2020, so don't hold your breath for that one. But, I mean, they got rid of sodium quickly, so maybe you should hold your breath. <laughs> maybe. Uh, <laughs> oh, this wasn't messy at all. I mean, really, I thought it would like, fall on the floor. Okay. <laughs> so, in conclusion, we're talking about some things McDonald's has done to get you guys' attention. They, um, they added a new item. It's pretty tasty. Got ranch. And um, they also helped out um, environmentally. They're not so bad anymore, so it's good. And of course, they try to lower their bad nutrients and stuff. Not very nutritious. So my hope for today is that maybe you won't actually like go to McDonald's and eat more now, but maybe after hearing about that environmental stuff, you maybe think they're okay in your book, or maybe you want to try a wrap, or maybe now that there's less sodium, you just want to go and get some.